Today I am going to uh, show you how to replace the strainer and gasket on a Suntec J-Pump. Uh, I removed the pump from the burner for demonstration purposes. Uh, on the J-Pump you will have eight bolts and the bolt size will be seven sixteenths of an inch. And for, again, for demonstration purposes, what I've done is I've gone ahead and loosened the bolts uh, so we can remove that rather easily and fast. Um, you'll remove that cover and inside the cover you will have a gasket. Uh, it'll either be attached to the, um, the cover or it will be attached to the, um, the pump itself. Then you'll remove the strainer. Strainer comes out and you'll discard that and put that aside. You want to check to make sure there is no old gasket material. You can take a razor blade, some sandpaper, or a, uh, a putty knife and you can go around and you can remove that gasket from the pump. What I like to do is wipe it down and to get all that debris off and make sure. In the kit that uh, HVACRsupplynow.com will give you when you purchase it is a new strainer and the new gasket. Put the strainer into the pump like so and the gasket will go on. What I like to do is I like to put it on the cover itself and I like to push the bolts through the cover gasket and it'll hold. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier to get the uh, cover back on. Then you go ahead and you will line up a few of the bolts and get it lined up and you will now screw back your cover. And just make sure when you're taking the cover off and removing the strainer and the gasket that you have a small pan underneath because there will be some residual oil inside the pump when you remove it. And you just don't want to get that all over your floor. And you want to try to work as neat as possible. And we are just about done. And I usually like to hand tighten them and then go back. As far as torque, uh, there is no torque. Uh, the torque that you're going to have is you'll have no oil leak. Just don't, you don't, really, you don't need to bulldog them down. Just tighten them. Just tight. Again, until you have no um, oil leak. And I like to go in a star pattern from one side to the other and tighten them accordingly. So the gasket material will sit flat. Go around, double check them, make sure that they're tight. You'll run your pump and you'll make sure that there's no leak. If there is, tighten up the bolts again, again in that star pattern, and that's it. That's how you change a strainer and a gasket on a J-Pump Suntec. Thank you.